Okay, we're recording. We need to make sure we're awake. Is the mic hot? What, what should we do? What should we do to Wilson, like wake? Wilson, it's great to say what? I'm kidding. Do you guys prompt me with questions or do I just yeah. talk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like okay, Abby. All right, Abby, go <laughs> ahead and uh, see you later. Um, wait. What? Okay, what can we do to make us sure we're awake? So just to preface, where it's the morning. It's a morning full send Friday episode. It's our first Special ever edition. episode on a Friday. And a we l- always record on Thursdays. Couple different scenarios. Emily woke up at what? Four? Four fifty this and morning. I went to bed at three forty five. Yeah. AM. I, I went to bed at two thirty AM. And we're all here to send it for you. Amazing. So, on Friday. On a Friday. Freaky Amazing. Friday. Full send Friday. So let's just let's wake up. What can we do to wake up? Just like Oh, yes, but I can't roll my tongue, but I... I'm actually feeling pretty awake. <laughs> okay, that was good. What are you guys... Okay, Abby, okay, we need to introduce... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, welcome back to the Full Send Podcast. Full I'm send. Annie. And I'm Emily. <laughs> and we're your, your masters, masters of sin. You sound so much more enthusiastic than I do. Because I love it. Um, today, though, we are so excited. Every time I talk, like, the, the lines <laughs> get yeah, really big. And I'm like, hi, I'm Annie. It's because yeah. you're loud. Today on the Full Send Friday Podcast, we are so excited to introduce you to one of our most favorite human beings, Abby Ed. Hartzler. Yeah. What's your middle name? Abigail Ruth. Oh, cute. oh what a cutie. So nice. Um Yeah, so what does your morning routine look like? I'm just thinking about since we're here in this morning, what do you normally do in the morning? Yeah. Do you have a consistent routine? Do you wake up at the same time every day? What do you believe about the mornings? So I wake up as late as possible Always. before I can get to class on time. And look decent and eat breakfast. Okay, so what does look decent mean? What does eat breakfast mean? And what does on time mean? So look decent means I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> yeah. At a girl. <laughs> yes, that's it. I As long as I'm wearing clothes, it's good. Um, <clears throat> I always eat oatmeal for breakfast. Sometimes always. have coffee. Sometimes make myself an almond milk latte. But those things take extra time. Always brush my teeth. Always. And then always floss. Yes. <laughs> okay. Since you had to, since you mentioned um, brushing teeth, you have to please tell our fans what you are planning to do with your life. So, um, my goals and aspirations are just leading me to be a dentist someday or an orthodontist. So, in seven years, catch me um, being a dentist. Seven love years. teeth. What do you love you about do teeth? You love teeth so much. I just love people's smiles and how they're all different, but they all resemble happiness. And I love helping people, and I love health, and I love the hours of the job. Nice. I feel like you're someone who always says, I love more than you say anything different. Aww. Like, you came up to me the other day, and you're like, oh my gosh, I just love this. It's so fun. And it was just, like, random, like, really mundane life. And I was just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you give me life. Aww. Um, so, okay, you're going into dentistry, but, like, what else? You're at college. What, what else are you doing here? What's your thing? <clears throat> Some things I love to do are just to do random stuff with my friends. Um, I love to laugh. Love to laugh. Love to joke around. And also, I, I do love school, and so I do like to do all my classes so I can be a dentist someday. And I am a student admissions representative, so I give tours around campus. I love that you do I that. I love. <laughs> and I have my own name tag and everything. Um, <laughs> I also... I'm part of the pre-dental club, obviously. I'm also on a committee for Dance Marathon and, obviously, a salt leader, which I love to do as well. <laughs> That's so love. fun. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. Um, what is, like, okay, if you love to laugh, do you have a favorite person? Or a f- not, I can't say favorite person. A funniest person. Have you ever laughed so hard you've cried? Yes. Oh, I usually cry every time. Really? <laughs> I've never laughed so hard I've cried. It's no on my bucket way. list. It is literally on my bucket list. There are Ooh, two times that are suspicious for me laughing so hard to cry, but both times my face was covered in once water and another time nacho cheese. And oh, so I don't know if okay. I was crying because I was burning from yeah. the nacho cheese and drenched in water. Do you want to hear the latest recent example? <clears throat> oh, please. So last Sunday, um, me and then my friend Rebecca and Casey were all laying on the couch, and I thought it would be funny to um, – 
just like send like a Snapchat to her new boyfriend who I've never met before. Rebecca's. Um. Yeah. Okay. And so I like get on my Instagram because I don't have them on Snapchat. And I was just, we were all laying there together, and I was gonna send like a snap over Instagram DMs. And I go in there and I click the heart button and not the camera. <laughs> and so I just send him a DM him a heart oh, that you can't yeah. take back on Instagram. And I was crying. <laughs> hard what did you, you say? Did you follow up with anything? Yeah, he's like hi with a wave, and then I like explain myself. While Does I was he know you? Laughing. No, not really. That is so funny. <laughs> I think I've accidentally. Uh, Sit in the heart of Dude, all the before. time. Because instead of clicking send, I'm always to click the heart. Yes. So someone will be like, oh, like, do you want to meet up later? That. And I'm just like, heart. And they're like, oh, oh it's my it's gosh, Annie, okay. It's and I'm like, purposely mm-hmm. does that. They do that because they want more love to be spread. They want... Here's a question about love. Okay. I mean, not really, more about like the word. And like, so we talk about love in our country, especially. And we're like, I love my dad, I love Jesus. But I also love pizza. But I don't feel equally about them. But we use the same word to describe our affection for all of them. I feel like that's because, like, context and, like, paralanguage are necessary. Elaborate on that. <laughs> it's I, so, I'm just no, it's so weird. Um, like, because, like... Sometimes, you know how some people, like, just the way that they say things convinces you that what they're saying has more weight to it? Yeah, Mm -hmm. I suppose. Mm -hmm. So, like, that kind of is, but you think about, so, like, say someone who, say you're from, like, a different country and Mm -hmm. English is your second language, and then you come to the United States and I'm talking to you or Abby's talking to you and she's Mm -hmm. like, oh, I love this, I love that, I love this. Mm -hmm. And then you're, you don't, because you only understand love as love. Right. Because you aren't informed on like the cultural mm-hmm. meanings of it no it's yeah. wild and or it's like just, should we use it so much like because we've used it so much has that taken away the power yeah, of it because sometimes i'll say to my dad like i love this album he's like you love me am i the same as this album and I'm, he's like joking but i'm also like <laughs> you know what dad i'm convicted right now <laughs> i don't know what to say but it's also like with the words like awesome amazing I just feel like our society in America is very dramatic. Yeah. I'm, I'm such a hit. I'm not, like, adding anyone. I'm like sure. this as well. But I'm like, that's the funniest thing I've heard in my entire life. <laughs> How Polly was like, haha. And so, yeah, that's a random tangent. <laughs> but yeah. I just think it's interesting that we're like, that was so amazing. That was, like, the, like I say this all the time, like, the most amazing thing in my life. Yeah. Or, like, the funnest things ever happened to me in my life about so many things and – Oh, I have a question. Yeah, for um, sure. About words. Mm-hmm. So, why do you think people use the word "like" as a filler word along with "um"? That is a great question. <laughs> that is an amazing question. Like um, yeah, like like like. See, I just yes, yes. There, yes. No, I mean, I I do it all the time, and people around me do it all the time. And I'm <laughs> you trying, caught yourself. Yeah, I'm you like, almost just. I'm like, like trying like. to stop. Yeah. Well, why not the word pizza? Right. <laughs> I think it's because you can use the word like appropriately as a filler word. So, for example. (laughs) Like genuinely has hardly a meaning. Yeah. So, if you say. It's a speech My favorite. Yeah. If you say, my favorite pizza. Or. What can I say? My favorite. I love pizza toppings. Like pepperoni and sausage. And so, like, that makes sense. But we just overuse it. So, we're like. Oh. I like pizza and, like, I, uh, pepperoni. And, like, I don't know. We just overuse it. We've overused this, like, like this cushion that we feel when we're, like, nervous talking. But it's weird because right now I'm not, like, nervous talking. I've said, like, like 30 times. And now I'm going to, like, listen to this podcast and be, like, <laughs> I said, like, a thousand times. It becomes a part of our vocabulary. It feels almost lazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it probably is. I'm going to try to stop saying it the rest of this podcast. Me too. Okay. Let's all also, try. I have another question. No, no, no. You're supposed to be answering. Yeah, just one more. Okay. It's actually something I'm, I'm curious. Okay. Would you guys consider Venmo a social media? Yes. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Would 100%. you? Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Why? Because, well, first of all, I don't really know what describes social media, but you can comment and like post and exactly. then like talk about a comment. Mm-hmm. And plus, you're interacting with others. I feel, okay, with social media, you brought up a fun 
topic. Abby, you did a little social media fest. I did. Recently. Tell me about it. So, for about, like, two and a half, three weeks, so from November 1st to, like, the 18th, I deleted Instagram, and, because that's, like, the social media I spend the most time on, and it was really good. I feel like now I want to spend less time on Instagram. Why do you, why do you think Instagram specifically was the social media platform that you spent the most time on? Probably because that's what I would post the most on, and it's easy to like maneuver around the app and like look at different people's feeds and like so many people post on their story mm-hmm. and then it just overtake not overtakes my thoughts but I'm thinking about people that yeah. are like, distracting to me throughout my day so what do you think is good about social media I think social media is great to um interact with others sometimes not in like a bad way but I know for me, I love staying in touch with people that I don't see a lot or, like, I'm not super close to, Mm -hmm. and I do genuinely care, and also, I've, like, made a friend over social media. Her name's Frankie, and we're very good friends now because, like, I DM'd her because we had, like, a similar story. Hmm. So, like, it can be good for that, that, but definitely can be bad, too. What do you think is bad about social media? I think I just, like, waste a lot of time on it. And obviously, like, I struggle with, like, comparison sometimes, mm-hmm. but overall, I'd say just, like, a time waster and, like, a thought filler rather than, like, good, pure things. Yeah. For sure. Hmm. Good social Why media do you thoughts. think that, like, Instagram, because I feel like for our generation, Instagram is the overwhelming mm-hmm. favorite and biggest time waster. Why do you think that is? As opposed to Facebook or Twitter or... I think because, like, everybody has their, like, status, basically. So, with Facebook, you can't, like, they don't, like, there's, like, nobody cares about likes or, like, how many friends you have or, like, what your thing looks like. But on Instagram, like, you can click on somebody, and even if you don't get to know them, I feel like you think you know them just by looking at their bio, and then you can see, like, their pictures, like, who comments, the mutual followers, how many likes they get. So then you feel like you get to know them. So they're basically advertising, like, themselves to people. I feel like Instagram is also... It's, like, kind of simple compared to other social mm-hmm. medias in a way that, like, um, people have an opportunity to almost have, like, a blog, essentially, mm-hmm. to present themselves mm-hmm. there however they want. Like, on Facebook, you can kind of, you don't really have as much power to present yourself the right. way that you want. Like, you don't However, have your theme or whatever. Yeah. No, because you think about, like, Instagram grids and people mm-hmm. have, um, like, an overall aesthetic mm-hmm. or... Um, which, like, I think is cool. Right. And I, I think, think what's so funny about Instagram is, okay, so I'm going to get off on a little soapbox for a second. Yeah. So people, specifically people who would consider themselves creative, call themselves creatives, right? You and this, about this one time. On the podcast? Mm-hmm. Amazing. Well, then. Yeah, no, I, I yeah. like it. So the thing, what I think is um, some people just consider themselves creatives because they have work to prove that they are good at something artistic. However, everyone is literally creative. And I think that Instagram has given people a platform to be creative, people who still would not consider themselves creative. Um, that sometimes like humor in um, captions or um, photography, even with iPhones, or mm-hmm. the way that they like the flow of their um, uh, overall Instagram aesthetic or all these things. Are people actually practicing their creativity, mm-hmm. which I think is really cool, um, though I don't think that they understand that they are actually being creatives, right. whatever. I hate the word. Anyway, yeah. that's kind of – and I can see that as both like a positive and an addiction, I guess. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Do you, do you guys use the um, the thing on the iPhones now that you can, like, yeah, shut, shut your, your stuff off. off? After a certain amount of time. Oh, like yeah. Like, screen time limit, yeah. That's, yeah. What's your shirt? Cozumel. Have you been? Yeah. When? Oh, spring break last year with my family. Was it fun? Mm-hmm. On my cruise. What'd you do? We just walked around at Cozumel, and we, like, rode on a boat. Jumped on some water trampolines, went to the beach. Classic. Are Just you local. an oceans or a mountains person? Both. Probably more oceans, but that's because I've been to more oceans. Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite what? ocean you've been to? No. In my opinion, it's just all one ocean because it's all the same water, pretty much. Oh, beep bop. Seriously? How dare you? Have you thought about, about that before? Well, I thought about that, but also, it's not. Also, if you think about it, all the land on the earth could be an island, 
And then right. all the islands aren't the islands. Or there are islands, too. Yeah. Everything's I, an island. I just, I say that sometimes. I'm like, yeah, I'm from an island. And people are like, what? I'm like, yeah, the United States. Because it's surrounded <laughs> it, by water. It's just a giant island. It's just a giant island. Yeah, island. yeah, I used to joke about that all the time. Yeah, because it is an island. Hawaii calls, like, this the mainland. Yeah. Because they're technically a part of Yeah, and, like, the someone from, like, people from Alaska call it, they, they're like, if you're from the lower 48. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I mean, we're somewhere that you really want to go right now. Like, if you could go on any trip right now, where would you go? Just for, like, vacation fun? Yeah, like, leisure. Mm-hmm. Well, if I could go anywhere, it would probably be Antarctica because I know I could never go there on my own. So okay. somebody's like, you could go anywhere. Who would you take to Antarctica with you? You get to bring one, two people. I would bring <clears throat> my friend Anita Wyatt. Why? Why would she be helpful in Antarctica? <laughs> she'd be helpful because she would make me laugh and keep me happy, and she'd be down to do anything. Those and the best I haven't friends. seen her forever. Okay. So it'd be, it'd be a good trip for us. <clears throat> and then I'd probably, then I'd probably bring you because you know what you're doing with the, the snow. <laughs> like, ice and stuff. <laughs> People always, I think I, I, I bet you I could figure it ice oh, out. Oh, yeah. 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 I bet you could. Yeah, it sounds. I'm from Iowa. It rains ice all the time. True. Um, hashtag last night. Yeah, if you could be on, I've been thinking about like reality TV shows a lot recently. Um, if you could be on one, what show would you want to be on, and why? I would probably be on The Price Is Right. <laughs> You're so For cute. Real. Because I'm sad that Bob Barker doesn't do it anymore. But yeah, it'd be fun to hug him, and <laughs> I would want to win the stuff. <laughs> win all the. the not toys, but the prizes. We you know? used to play the prizes, right, when I was little. My mom used to make, like, she would get, like, little box cars or whatever. Oh, and wow, that's cute. We'd guess, like, the actual price of them. And oh, we played it all the time. That is so like fun. fun that's game. a really creative idea yeah. for a kid. Oh, I love that. We should do, we should do. I really want to, like, plan more events this semester. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. <clears throat> dumb, like. Well, just, like, like legitimate game nights or legitimate, like, instead of just, yes, yeah, yes. Like, yeah, that was center. fun. Just, like. Or, like, that poetry night thing. That oh, yeah, so like, on Joanna's Instagram yeah. line. Yes. I'm trying yeah. to think, even. Um, um, playing a Everyone Comes to Arizona Day. Dude, that'd be so fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, everyone from Iowa State. We could totally get that. I'm jealous. Abby, what are you, what are three things that you're excited about right now? Oh, uh, everything. Yeah, I know, but give okay. me three. <laughs> First of all. I'm very excited to, for my career path and my classes, just love that. I um, love that you love that. I love it. It brings me life. I literally cannot. Like, I am. I love right now my undergrad, but, like, I know when it's come to graduation, I'm going to be so excited to go into grad school. You know? That's awesome. I mean, that's, that's such a gift. Thank you. Yes. And then I think second thing that I'm excited about is... Winter break because I am like sad kind of because I'll miss my friends here, but I know I'll stay in touch with them more break. And I'm excited to not have any stress at school and just um, work a little bit, be home, spend time with my family, and be in my own bed. And third thing I'm excited about is visiting Annie in Arizona next semester and traveling next semester. Mm-hmm. It would be so fun. Annie, how are we going to do a Full Sun Friday podcast? I feel like we can't know until I get to Arizona. I feel like we should announce this to our fans. Oh, yeah. Wow. Namely, um, Matt Carlson. (laughs) And his mom. And his mom. (laughs) Um, Annie won't be with us next semester. Yeah, hi. It's me, Annie. I won't won't be here next semester, like Emily said. Um, I'm full sending it in Arizona with Becca from the previous episode. So that's that's yeah. We'll we'll have more details to come on that. Um, keep up with our Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> our our non-existent Instagram, yeah, but just our own Instagram. I was like, yeah, that looks we still need no. to get a picture before you leave. <laughs> no, it's crazy that like. Okay, can we just talk about how next week is literally dead week? <clears throat> Do we also just talk about like that and how? All the things that you just, like, say you're going to do and you just don't do them. And why? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I was talking to Casey about this last night. And then, yeah, basically, people that are graduating this year told me to make a bucket list. 
and actually do everything on mm-hmm. it before you graduate. And I'm, like, so down for that. I'm, like, yeah. I say something, and, like, I actually do. Like, I mean it when I want to do it. And, and ev- even just little things. Like, yeah. why haven't we taken a picture yet? You know? Yeah. Or why don't we go why? to Burgies more? Yeah. Oh, I go to Burgies all the yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally I there. do, too. Like, I need to go to Burgies Bree Farhar and, and I literally have a tab, or we keep track. We text each other every time we're there to see who's been there more. Oh. She's winning by two right now. Oh but gosh. we go there like Whenever I check your location, location, you're there more than your house. I'm serious. Well, I'm never at home. I'm either here at Hamilton High or I'm at Birdie's. I know. Those are your two homes. Remember when I texted you that one time? Do you have all your classes at Hamilton? Yes. Dude, I need to get you guys on Find My Friends. Before I, leave. I do so have I you. I have her. I need you. I oh, get okay. super... Because when I'm in Arizona, I'm just going to be like, following you guys around. It's like, oh. Also, if any of you guys want me on Find Friends, just let me know. <laughs> I love following people. It's true. It's a fun time. Well, it's it is fun. I love to stalk people. Mm-hmm. Especially just like, I don't know, we're just like, oh, Casey's at Target. <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel like my mom. Hey, Casey. I hope you watch this. Listen, we love okay. Casey. I know. Do we get, do, are we ready for the full sentence story? Do you have a full sentence oh, story ready? I have a great one. Oh, All right. buddy. Crack it open. <clears throat> so, last night. I hope you bought like a plane ticket or something. No, oh, but it, it is pretty. Actually, it's crazy. Oh. So I, we, me and Casey, are, we had a really good talk. We hung out. We went to Ponchero's with our friends, Cass and Taya. Oh, fun. Um, and then we got back at like 1130. She showered. I was like watching TV, got ready for bed, whatever. And it was probably like 1.30 in the morning. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go to bed. And I go and sit in this thing. And I was like, wait, Casey. I need a story for tomorrow, like a full sense story. Like, what? What should it be? And she was like, "How many things?" She's like, "Well, it could be when you like snuck out at camp and like found a dead end point, or you could be like when you like left camp and went to this other camp in the middle of the night and like looked at their cabins." Or she's like, "I'm like no." And then she's like, "What about like that da- random dance party we had?" I was like, "Yeah, no." And then my friend texts me and he's like, two people bailed on us for a Travis Scott concert next Thursday in Chicago," <laughs> and he's like. We leave, like, that, like, at noon, or, like, and then we would leave here from noon, like, leave Iowa City at, like, 1 or whatever, and then, like, go to the concert and then drive back so we could study for finals. And I was like, Casey, like, do you want to go? Like, the tickets are $60. And she was like, so we talked it through, talked about everything, and I was just like, we have to, like, we have to just (laughs) send it, and, like, we're not going to regret this someday, you know what I mean? So we were just talking, and she's like, just buy the tickets, Abby. So I bought the tickets. That's yes! so fun. So, I, I know. love it. So that's her. Casey's a sender, too. I love That's why I love her so yeah. much, because I yeah. know that she'd do anything. Yeah. Literally. And so now, yeah, we're going to a Travis Scott concert. Who and, are you going with? Um, my friend Ben. Ben. And Luke. Ben Kirk, yes. Okay. And then his friend Luke, who we met over break, he's super fun. And then this other guy named, I think, Dominic or something. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and so that Travis Scott in Chicago. Chicago. Yes, yeah. so it's like downtown Chicago. Oh, buddy. Like, it's like the guy that sings Mo Bamba will be there. And then oh, cool. And two other people, Trippy Red. I'm not a huge, like, rap fan, but I'm excited, so. But it'll, it'll be, be fun. Yeah, Chicago's yes. kind of like, it's yes. a vibe. It's a so good vibe. for all of our followers, do you have any send advice? Yes, I do, actually. I think that, first of all, <clears throat> I've been really passionate about this lately, but <laughs> just in life, if you're not going to, like, take a step forward, or if you never put, like, any gas in your car, you're never going to go anywhere, mm. and, like, that's so true, like, even if just, like, risk with, like, a relationship or a friend or, you know, going on vacation or doing something that's outside of your comfort zone, like, if you never try or if you never do it, you're never going to know because, like, you'll just be where you started, mm. you know what I mean, like, if I didn't go to Chicago, like, I'd just still be here, you know? And, like, that's why it's, like, I want to go because might as well live my life. You know, mm-hmm. you only get one life on earth and want to make the most of it, you know? And someday I'm going to be working full time and probably not going to be able to do random stuff that's like this. That's true. Yeah. That's good advice. I read this, Seriously. I read this post once that was, like, um, Big Sur is a real place. Just gas up your car, babe. Like, that's yeah. what I said. I was like, okay, yeah. yeah. But it's guess true. It's the like, car, babe. Like, Big Sur is mm-hmm. real. And I feel like people think, like, oh, when I, like, make more friends, when I'm more financially stable, one day when I have a husband, like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. No. no, do it now. My, now yeah. is when you're here. Yes, and now is when it's happening. Yes. My basketball coach, he said, Emily, there's two types of people in the world. 
the doers and the wannabes. And he was yeah. talking specifically about me in pursuit of like a college scholarship. Like you either get it done or you wish you got it done. Right. And and I've kept that with me in so many years of life. Like you're either going to do it or you're going to want to do it. Yeah. You're not really going to be indifferent. Like you're not right. going to regret. And, and if you're indifferent, that's the worst place you could yeah, ever be because no a... one wants to be apathetic. You want to feel it or you want to be hate it. You exactly. Know what I mean? Like this. Yeah. <clears throat> my roommate and I were talking about that one time. Like it's like we either like really high highs and really low lows sometimes. I mean, there's, I mean, there's a lot of story about like feeling yeah. grace in every moment, but like just as a human, sometimes I'm like, I would sometimes rather feel like a low, dark, like deep blow than just be like existing in the middle. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Seriously. You'll never know if you don't, if you don't try. So try to do something like true. And it's fun. It makes your life interesting. And also, yeah, it's just fun to go with, like, random people that you don't hang out with all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, favorite. that's, like, I feel like kind of how we started to get to know Yeah, you know, seriously. Becca and I were at Salt one night, and we were like, we just want to do something fun. Like, something, like, that we don't usually oh, yes. do. And then Casey came up to us, and she was like, hey, me and Abby are going to this Des Moines Food Festival tomorrow. Want to come? And Becca and I were like, yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> seriously. So fun. One invite can just, like, change it can just spark something. Yeah. Man, friendship. Wow. Say yes more. Yeah. Seriously. Or just send it more. Honestly, yeah. if you've learned anything, Andy, we could co-write a book called Full Send Friday. We could both work on it. You know, I'm in Arizona a year here from our different perspectives and kind of every other chapter. Emily, Iowa, Andy, Arizona. How I can do like, prologue. Yes. You want to endorse it? Yeah. Yeah. And then you can put it in your dentist's office. Oh, dude, yes. I have to go to class. Oh, bro. Okay. Um, All right. Well, thanks for listening to the podcast. Yes. <laughs> and, and you're amazing. I love you. That's a wrap. Bye. I'm just running upstairs. Got to...